Let's now have a quick look around the Lightroom interface. So unlike Photoshop, um, where you can move your panels around wherever you like, the interface is basically locked into this configuration. When you first install the uh, Lightroom, you get this little message saying click to import button to begin. Now the import button is down there and that is where you start to bring your images into Lightroom uh, to begin the development process and sorting your images and things like that. So until you import images, Lightroom will not show you within the folders panel any images because you have to physically import them. They are just virtual links that don't actually move the pictures but you need to carry out that import procedure. And I say it gives you a little useful reminder there. Now at the top we've got all the different menus, the same sort of menus that you'll find in any uh, similar sort of program. And it's useful just to go through those to have a look see what there is. Along here we've got what's called the modules. So we've got the library, develop, map, book, slideshow, print and web. Then we've got the panels on the right and we've got the pan panels on the left. And these change depending on which module you've got selected. At the bottom, we've got the toolbar. And we've got the film strip. So once you've imported images, you can see images down here in the film strip. And if you've got it in grid mode here, you'll see images in a grid in the content area here. And then you have different views you can in the library module, you can have it in grid view, uh, loop view, compare view, uh, face detect. So you can have different types of uh, visibility within the content area. We've also got a thing called the spray can and there's a, a little drop down here where you can actually allocate what attributes you wish to apply to the spray can and then you can spray your images within this content area with those attributes and that can be quite a, a quick and useful tool to use. We ha now have the ability in Lightroom to use two monitors so I often use two monitors uh, the one the, the the main monitor on the left is used for maybe the grid view and then the second monitor can be used to illustrate a, a, a full uh, a full frame image of uh, whichever uh, photograph you're looking at. That's the import button. We have a filter bar at the top and we can filter images based on text, attribute, metadata or then you can select none so the filter becomes off and you can see we've got filters off here. You can also filter down here as well. So that's using the images metadata to find and sort images based on attributes, metadata attributes and that. Once we've brought images into the uh, into Lightroom and we've got it in grid view so we see lots of thumbnails, we can change the size of the thumbnails via our thumbnail zoom slider. Again once we've got images into Lightroom we can go through our images and we'll see a representation of, it, of the image that is selected in the navigator panel there. And these are tabs which drop down and these present additional panels. So we've got quick develop panel, keywording panel, keywording list, uh, comments and metadata. So these are panels that we can collapse and uh, restore using the tabs at the top, using the little triangles. And along the bottom, so we've got the tools and these that little drop down menu allows you to select which tools are visible in the tools uh, toolbar there. Although we can't move these panels around, we can collapse them. So by selecting that little triangle there, the panels on the right will collapse to give you more space for the content area. Same with the left, same with the top and same with the bottom. And these tabs collapse or expand the panels. So let's just have a quick look at Lightroom 
actual so I'll go so this is the actual Lightroom panel uh, program we can let's say we can't move the panels around but we can drag the size of the panels the film strip okay or we can collapse them press the tab and that gets rid of the left and right uh, tab key and it's worth looking through the menus themselves to see what sort of tools or attributes can be applied to our images going down here and also look at the shortcuts so these are giving you a few ideas of the shortcuts for the different uh, commands that are available and if you if you like using shortcuts then the help menu shows the library module shortcuts so there's the library module shortcuts if we went to the develop module help develop module shortcuts so you can see all the different shortcuts applicable to the different modules and as we select different modules you'll see that the panels change depending on the module that we've got selected okay if you've got a small screen then you'll find that so we've got the histogram the quick develop keywording scroll down keywording list metadata you may find that's a bit uh, awkward so if we right click on here we've got a thing called oh, and you can actually select or deselect which panels you wish to view have visible if we select solo mode this collapses all the panels apart from the one that you have active so rather than having to scroll you just select the panel you wish and it appears underneath it and all the others collapse automatically apart from the histogram which has got its own uh, visibility uh, toggle there so solar mode works on the left hand panels as well so you've got catalog folders this is where you'll find all your images once you've imported them collections so this is where you can create collections of images and these are the ones that are built in these smart collections have been built in by Lightroom we'll explain about collections later and publish services but if we right click on these solar mode again and so depending on which one we select the rest of them collapse and you just see the ones that you wish to view so I think that's probably uh, all we need to go through at present because we haven't brought any images into Lightroom and we can see that through here all photographs there aren't any we haven't imported any so we can't visibly see any or work on them so that would be the next job to do bring the images in that are already on your computer into Lightroom so we can start working on them